Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you're here to paint with us and I have a very special guest. This is... Cora. Cora. <laughs> and how old are you? Eleven. Eleven. And what's your favorite color? Magenta. No, that's Ooh. not <laughs> That's a good color too. Maroon. Maroon. Ooh, those are pretty close. So that's a good one. We can paint a maroon donut then if you want. Ooh. We can definitely do that. So then we also want to introduce, we have our cameraman, Keenan, who is also here. He's going to come say hi. Hello. <laughs> and so you are here to paint, and I realized I didn't even show you what we're painting, which is a really, really fun project. We're painting donuts. Oh. We're so excited, and we brought donuts to, just for inspiration, you know? So we brought donuts to show you mm. how we are going to paint them so they look real. So the supplies we are using are we're using our watercolors. We have three different colors. We're using azure blue, but if you have any blue, you can use that. We are using deep yellow, but if any yellow, you can use that. And this color called fuchsia, which is actually close to magenta. So those three colors. Now, these are kind of like the primary colors. So we're gonna show you how you can mix a whole rainbow of colors. So we got that. We have our palette. We have our paper all set up. And then the other cool thing, this is our new, it's called a brush basin, I believe. Yes, it but is. it's our water cup. Nailed it. So we're gonna be using that and we have our paintbrushes. And the other thing that's a little bit different is I want you to grab a pencil and then I also want you to grab something that is circular. So if you have a cup or a bowl would work as well, we're gonna use that to help us draw the circles. So go and grab that. Now, the way we like to start is we have a motto. So if everyone, including Cora, can raise their right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. I am creative. Let's do this. And they're going to fist pump. Yeah! <laughs> okay, awesome. So the first step is, is grab a pencil. So grab your pencil. And you are going to grab a circular shape, let's do this way. So grab something that's circular, like I said, a cup or a bowl, and you get to draw circles. Now, you are creative like you heard in the last motto, and I want you to be able to draw anything you want. So if you want, for example, if you want six in a row, if you want some that are up here, over here, if you want some really small ones, like some donut holes, Ooh, yes, which I love. Those, yeah. are, those are one biters. <laughs> those are dangerous. You can have a lot of them. So you can get, you get to pick how you want to design this because you are creative. So Cora, you get to go. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your pencil and you're going to trace around, again, wherever you want. Now, if you're sitting here being like, Nicole, I can draw my own circles, you can do that. So if you want a free hand and draw your own circles, you can do that as well. So we're gonna draw a few. Is there a way you think you could use the glass jar, put it in paint, and then use it like a stamp? I'm sure, I don't know, we can try. I bet it's possible. <laughs> I bet you're right. I bet you could do it. So. What if you use a permanent marker and draw around the circle part of it? To draw a bigger part? No, I mean like on the glass itself or whatever device, maybe not, this is a bad idea. Don't draw on your cups at home. <laughs> I was gonna say permanent marker. I don't know if grownups would be wanting Semi -permanent that. Semi-permanent marker. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna draw a few donut holes. Mm. What's your favorite kind of donut, Cora? Do you have a favorite? Are you a donut connoisseur? <laughs> <laughs> I like chocolate donuts. Yes. Perfect. That one's for you. Chocolate then. frosting or cake? Ooh, that's Chocolate a good question. Cake donut. Both. Hey, Amen. <laughs> Speaking my language. <laughs> okay, so we have our donuts. Then you'll see from our examples, donuts have also circles inside. So whenever we draw, we always like to look at the simple shape. So we have a really big circle, and then we're going to draw a really small circle in the center. So your donut holes don't have them, but on your bigger ones, draw a circle inside mm. the lovely thing about donuts is i've never seen a perfect donut that's true yeah so some of them might be a Maybe little bit wonky. off yep yeah because that's not a perfect circle okay so we did that step now let's pretend we won't do it on camera but let's pretend this donut was had a bite in it okay 
So if you want to draw one, you can pick one that you want to do, or you can do multiple. But if you want to draw one that's bitten, what you're going to do is you're going to, at one point, you're going to, in the middle, just kind of draw a zigzag or jagged line. Wonderful. And then however big your bite is. So if you have a really big mouth, maybe your bite's really big, or you ate half your donut, you're going to draw another zigzag, and then you're going to erase. Good job, Cora. You're going to erase that part, as well as the middle part. Nice. Boom. We got a little hungry when we were painting. Mm -hmm. Always. Awesome. Okay, the next step is, is we're gonna move to our watercolors. So we have our three colors and we're gonna mix them. So let me do the rainbow for you. So we have fuchsia. And then if you wanna make orange, we're gonna do one drop of fuchsia and then six drops of yellow. So the thing about these colors, one, two, three, three, four, five, six, is that fuchsia or red is a really, really strong color. So that's why you only need one drop of that and a lot more yellow. So we got red or fuchsia, orange, yellow, green. To make green is a similar thing where you just need one drop of blue because blue is really strong. And then, we're, oh, and then we're gonna do six drops of yellow. And then do you know how to make purple, Cora? Fuchsia and blue. Yes, mm -hmm. so for this one, we're gonna do lots of fuchsia, so I'm gonna do six drops of fuchsia, because we want it to be more purpley, and then one drop of blue. Blue's really strong. So I'm just gonna mix these for us so we can see. Boom, there's our fuchsia. So whenever we switch colors, you'll notice I'm going to my water basin, and I'm washing it off. That way the color will stay the same color, and it doesn't get muddy. Good oh, game. I realized I forgot blue. You did? Yep. Yeah. I got it. Blue. Look at all those colors that we just made. By three colors. It's so fun. Okay. Now, oh, oh you're good. If you have to sneeze. <laughs> that was a good catch. I needed two and then it didn't come. <laughs> okay. So the next step is, is you get to pick any color. Now we're gonna start with the frosting part. So you'll see we have white frosting, brown frosting, or if you wanna make a colored frosting, there were also some that were blue. We saw a green one this morning. So you get to pick. So pick which color would you like to paint your frosting? Or do you wanna make a maroon? Maroon. Maroon, okay. So because she likes maroon, I just wanna show you how to do that. So we'll do it over here. Maroon is kind of a little bit, let's see what happens, a little bit purpley. Ooh. Ooh, that's a really pretty color too. This is the magic that I love about watercolors is that you could mix any colors together and kind of experiment and see what you get. Maroon is more red, right? Mm -hmm. Does that kind of get in there? Yeah. You like that color? Yeah. Okay, sweet. So we kind of just tried things. I just kind of mixed. I just wanted to make that color for her. So if you wanna make your own color, go for it. Now, so you have your maroon. So dip your brush, grab a brush and dip it in water because you want it to be a little bit wet, but then hit it off to the side because you don't want it super wet. And then dip in your color. And then I'll do orange. And then you're gonna pick one of your donuts and I want you to paint kind of not an, an imperfect circle. So you're gonna paint around inside, but I'm not going, I'm not following the line perfectly. Mm, I like that. There you go, yeah. And then you're gonna paint it in. And go all the way, but paint, don't paint the circle inside because that's not part of the donut. That's part of our table. So we're just painting inside. Now I realize Cora also, if you find that you wanna use a bigger brush, there's also a bigger brush that if you like, because that might be a little bit easier. And then the other thing for watercolors is it might help to dip your brush in water a little bit because see how it gets a little bit dry? So how about paint dip in water first and then get some color? Yeah, that will help it glide a little bit more. And that's why we call it watercolors. Yeah, do you see how that glides? Good job. Ooh, smooth. Yeah. That or looks so fun. Oops. Donut icing. What? Oh, smooth like donut. Smooth like donut <laughs> Nice, icing. good one, good one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here all day. <laughs> nice. Okay, so Cora and I are gonna have fun and kind of paint the rest of ours. So you get to decide if you want to, what colors you want to do. So you can pick another one if you want. Pick another one to do icing. 
Now, while Cora is doing that, I want to teach you how to make chocolate. So she also likes a chocolate donut. So what we're going to do is we have our orange. So let's use some orange right here. So brown or chocolate is basically orange, but with a really, really little bit of blue. So I'm just going to dip my brush in blue. I don't have a lot. Can they see that? Kind of. You want to bring it down a little? Uh, with Our the prouts. There we go. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, so like I said, orange and a little bit of blue, and I'm gonna mix that together. Oh, so that was a lot of blue. So that kind of made it green. So here's the cool thing. We are going to experiment and see if we can do it again. So I wanna get orange. Ooh, there we go. Kind of coming together. Oops, sorry, we're Sharon. Sharon is Karen. So we have Sharon now- Sharon and Karen. Not what I said. Okay. <laughs> is we have our chocolate. So Cora, if you want to make any of yours chocolate, we have some brown right there. Ooh. So Cora and I are going to keep going and we're going to paint our donuts. Now, if you have a glazed donut and you want one of those, leave that blank and then we'll teach you how to do that in the next step. So we are back, we painted our donuts frosting. Now, we are going to make the donut part. Now, I realized you were talking with Keenan and you like chocolate on chocolate. So if you want some of them to be chocolate, I'm gonna leave some of the brown for that. But what I'm gonna do is if we wanna make these light colors, cause it's a lighter brown. So the magic trick, let me move this over, is to make any color lighter, you add water. So I'm gonna take our brown that we made and I'm gonna add water. So I'm dipping into our water cup and there is our lighter color. Now I wanna add a little bit of yellow cause it looks like donut kind of has a little bit of yellow and maybe a little bit of a warmer tint. So I'm adding in some pink, boom. So again, if you ever wanna make a lighter color, just add water. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna use your brush and you're gonna use this color and you're gonna paint in the outside, so the parts of your donut that are the cake donut-y part. So sometimes maybe if you wanna paint outside of it, we like to paint outside of the lines. I know Keenan sometimes gets a little bit nervous and doesn't like to paint outside of the lines, but it's okay if That's you true. outside. There's supposed to be guidelines. And so sometimes when you touch it, which I think is so cool, it's gonna blend a little bit. And I love that look. That's the cool thing about watercolors. Now, I also have my donut hole, which is usually a glazed donut. So I'm gonna color that in as well. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it really touches the blue. The blue really blends. That happened to me too. It looks cool. That looks so cool. <laughs> that blue is alive. Yeah. If that donut had a thought process, it'd say, I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun if you add little speech bubbles on what the donuts are saying yeah. and thinking. They're talking to each other, we can do that after. Do thought bubbles for sure, please. <laughs> so if you have one, I'm gonna show you. I want to do one where it has white frosting. So we don't have white paint right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just paint the outsides and leave the inside white, like the paper. So we are back, and so remember to make sure that your paper is fully dry because we're gonna add sprinkles on top of our watercolors. 
So let's grab, I'm gonna use my small brush this time because we're gonna make really small sprinkles. So do the same thing as dip your brush in water and we're gonna pick a color. So we have the whole rainbow here so we can use any color. Let's see if I got a red. And to do this is you're really just going to touch the paper. Little dashes. Little dashes. There are, there's also there's a uh, circular sprinkle. So if you want to do little dots on yours, nice or you can do up. some that are like dashes. Yeah, good job. Ooh, I like that color combo. You can do one color, you can do three colors. Again, this is your painting and you are creative. So you get to make it your own. Let's do some blue. Now, while you're doing this, if you have, I just want to talk about while Cora and I are doing this, is there's this really fun tool or product that's called Pearl X and it's a powder. I'll show you that you can use to mix with your watercolors. Now, before I show you how to do it, I suggest you try and grab some gum Arabic. So we have a smaller version and we have a bigger version. Either one works, we don't need a lot, but this will really help to mix with our powder and then with our watercolors. So make sure to grab some of that. Now, that's the first step is grabbing your tools. The second step is grab a dry brush. So not a brush that you just went and painted with. I want it to be dry because it'll help you to pick up the powder like this. You're gonna dip it in your powder. You don't need very much and you're gonna put it on your palette. So we're gonna start a little pile. I'm gonna tap it off. So that's step two. Make sure to close this because we wanna be kind to our tools. Next step is open up your gum Arabic. Make sure it's what's called, yep, gum Arabic. And this is also a powder, but it's white. So there's no metallic to it. So I'm gonna dip in there. I'm gonna do the same thing as I don't need a lot. I'm gonna grab some and I'm gonna put it on the same pile. Next step, close. And now we are ready for our watercolor. So pick any color, let me set this down. Pick any color and you're gonna add a few drops. So this time I used blue. And then you're gonna dip in water if you have some water next to you. And we're gonna mix it together. Let's see what happens. Whoa! Do you see that? Do you see that metallic color that we just made? Let's see, if I move it, you could see how shimmery it is. So what we did was we added the metallic to our paints. So now you can use this on any of your projects that you have. Wait, Keenan, what's your favorite donut? My favorite donut? Yeah. A long john? Is that... Long skinny kind? Oh, well, is that I, I the, like to be the twist? No, not the twist. The filled kind. Oh, 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 got it. Mm -hmm. The messier, the better. Dang. Maybe someone can draw your favorite one then. They can. I believe in them. I didn't think about that to do only those. It's basically shaped like a big, long donut <laughs> without a hole. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to leave my chocolate one chocolate because it's one right there. And so, guess what? You are done. So you can do more what? if you want. You can add more sprinkles to yours. You can be creative. Maybe Cora and I will at the end, we'll add some of the speech bubbles. Or if you want to name your donuts, if you want to make a story about them. <laughs> this is so much fun. You can be, in, be creative and get to do anything you want with it. So we're done for today though. Thank you so much Cora for painting with me. That was awesome. Thank you, Keenan, for being here. You're welcome. And Keenan's whole family for being here. Yes, they're and welcome. And always remember that you're brave, kind, and so creative. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.